Welcome back. Now for an interview with a dedicated HR practitioner, Tuda Haitula, who is offering free online career guidance and interview coaching tailored specifically for the boy child. This initiative aims to empower young boys with the necessary skills and knowledge to navigate the professional world successfully. Let's delve into the insights and motivation behind this noble endeavor. Tuda, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Good uh, evening, Nina. Thank you for having me. A noble endeavor it is indeed. So talk to mm -hmm. us about what inspired you, you know, to focus on offering a career guidance and interview mm -hmm. coaching speci specifically for the uh, Namibian boy child. Okay, uh, I think um, it also comes from um, the challenges and the opportunities that the boy child face. And also when you look at uh, activities that are happening around our country, there's a lot of um, activities that are centered around women empowerment mm. and uh, all the time when you see this type of events there's always a level of outrage from uh, society members asking questions of uh, why is it only the girl child the boy child is being left behind mm. and uh, through that discussion there's always a few individuals that come out and say but what are you as men doing for this and then I think um, the main challenge also we, we tend to look at the big corporates and what they are doing and then we sort of think that we can't cover the gaps that have been covered by the, these big corporates. And then um, I, I just uh, looked at what, what can I do in this space. And funny enough is I volunteer at two uh, initiatives that are also centered around the girl child. So again, I thought, okay, maybe I do have the resources also to do something. And then I looked at myself and what I can offer, and then that's how I came up uh, with this initiative of to see how we can cover this gap that is happening. Uh, especially when it comes to the boy child. Fantastic. How do you believe, uh, Tuda, that societal norms and expectations um, impact the career development of, of young boys? Okay, um, I think some of these uh, societal norms can um, affect or inf influence the type of career that uh, the boy child ends up taking. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, even traditionally as a boy, you are expected to do something. You're the man of the house. There's certain expectations. However, the society has also changed now because our fathers were brought up in a certain society and they had the resources to be the men of the house to mm. provide for mm. their women and all of that however now the space has changed and uh, we are on the sort of on the same uh, ground with the uh, women and for men to be the providers we need to do it, it we are at the point where a man can do what a woman can do when it comes to most, most uh, career paths. And um, when it comes not to societal norms, even though they still exist, we need to see how we can uh, navigate those as a man and what you can do to contribute uh, to your well-being as well as to your society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier about some of the challenges uh, that young boys face uh, when it comes to this topic of discussion. Uh, perhaps you can talk to us about what those are and maybe also some misconceptions mm -hmm. um, when it comes to you know career choices and, and, and even interview preparation. Okay. Um, I think the, the main challenge is also um, pressure when it comes to certain career paths that are expected for certain genders. However, that has also, um, it's, it's changing a little bit. And then the other challenge is also exposure to certain careers that uh, people can do. So most of us, when you're thinking about our careers, you, you look at the people that are around you, your parents, your aunties, and all of that. And then uh, in most cases, it's you're going to be a teacher or a pastor or work at the uh, post office. And then there's a lot of opportunities that exist outside that space, and most people don't actually have that uh, exposure. So part of the career guidance that I do is to talk about networking and also attending events like career fairs, and also just exposing yourself and putting yourself out there in terms of uh, getting to know the different careers that exist, and then how you can also align your skills and your qualifications mm. to some of these different industries and uh, careers that exist. Mm -hmm. Well, to our viewers who are watching, of course, you just saw that we had a QR code up on the screen. Uh, not to jump the gun with our conversation, we will get into what it is in a bit, but you can scan it in the meantime and get all of the details for this free um, training that will be happening. Uh, Tuda, talk to us about how you actually uh, tailor your guidance and coaching to address the unique needs and concerns of, you know, boy children. Okay, uh, for now it's going to be online mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's 
it's a way it's a way that is uh, efficient and uh, doesn't cost much apart from uh, perhaps electricity and uh, internet charges and then uh, through this platform we cover different uh, topics starting from uh, job search strategies and then all the way up to interview preparation so the idea is to prepare you from um, let's say coming from school if as you've seen on the poster the age group is starting from 15 mm -hmm. so we're looking at people that have just uh, graduated or finished grade 12 and then uh, you're, you're about to start your career. So the mentorship program then starts from that level. How can you start applying for a job to put yourself out there and also just to put you in touch with uh, different people in the different sectors that you might find yourself or that you are interested in. Mm -hmm. How do you incorporate you know, the role modeling aspect into the program? Okay, so for that, uh, it's still at the uh, infancy stage, but right. we were thinking of um, identifying a few, a few mentors and then linking them to the different boys that we, we get. This is the first time that we are going to do this, so hopefully we'll develop a database and um, I'm sure there will be some people that are going to come on board as well that are going to offer uh, mentorship in different fields because I can only offer from a certain angle. The, my hope is to get more people who are also willing to take on some uh, boy, uh, some boys and see how they can offer some mentorship to mm -hmm. them in terms of uh, their, their career goals and um, how they can share some of the skills that they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What key skills or qualities would you or do you emphasize you know, during your coaching sessions to um, you know, help your candidates succeed in interviews and their future um, careers? I think uh, most importantly is uh, confidence. And then um, there's also communication, which is also linked to your confidence. You need to communicate effectively. This, is, this comes from when you're applying for a job, be it in your cover letter, in your CV, and also when you go to the interview. So that is it's, it's one of the things that I, I, I spend most time on, that your information needs to be very clear, very articulate, and it needs yeah. to be understood because that is what um, employers see before they even invite you for an interview. So if you can communicate effectively, then you are you, you sort of uh, uh, um, in the right direction. And then there's also critical thinking, there's problem solving. These are all of the different assessments that you're going to face in the interview. However, what will get you in the interview is to make sure that you have a proper cover letter, proper CV, and uh, also just simply following information or instructions that are um, highlighted on the advert. Mm -hmm. And because a lot of people make a mistake either by sending it to the wrong email address or, or having the wrong information in the subject line. So all of this information you need to consider. And at this level, uh, that is what I focus most of the attention on, just to make sure that your document looks good enough for the employer to call you in for an interview. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you look at now problem solving, team working, um, yeah, and any other challenges that you might find within the workplace. Mm -hmm. Just for interest sake, Tudor, what are your sentiments um, around punching above your weight? And by that I mean applying for a job that you're not really, uh, you know, qualified for. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what's your professional advice concerning that? Because a lot of times people will say, even if you're not qualified and you, mm -hmm. you don't tick all the boxes, take a chance and apply. Um, but from an HR perspective, is that something wise to do? Um, I think it's, uh, it's different. It depends on the, on the organization that you're applying for. Because sometimes the challenge might be that uh, someone who is fully qualified will get the, the job. Uh, but then there might also be a case whereby no one meets the 10 years or five years of work experience and then perhaps you have half of that. And uh, my advice on that is do not disqualify yourself. <laughs> Let the HR people disqualify you. So yeah. if you feel like you can do the job and uh, you can learn about it, then please just uh, feel free to apply because there's a lot of skills that you can learn on the job. So please do not disqualify yourself. <laughs> How do you ensure inclusivity as well as diversity in your guidance, you know, to cater to a varying backgrounds and aspirations? Okay, uh, so for this uh, initiative, uh, like I said, it's, this is the first year that uh, we are doing it. If you go on the link or the QR code that was on the screen, you will see that um, there's a section to select you, the region that you are coming from. I think that is a, one of the aspects that we are going to look at. And then uh, there is also the level of qualification. So we are trying to have as many different and diverse people as we can based on the limited information that uh, is on the questionnaire. However, I, I can't say who is going to apply and uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, if uh, only people from a certain background apply, mm -hmm. then I will have to go for those. 
but my hope is that uh, we'll get quite a lot of applicants from uh, all walks of life in, uh, in Namibia. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give you know, to parents and educators when it comes to supporting and nurturing uh, the career aspirations of the boy, child's, uh, boy child in their home? I think it's to encourage open dialogue where they talk about the different careers and uh, do not limit the, the kids and also just to, there's a lot of career uh, phase that happen and also just a lot of exposure. This can either be through talking to friends or even when you're watching television, you need to have a different perspective. Uh, instead of, you can see that this person is an actor, however, maybe in, in, in their role, they are also a teacher or they're an accountant. That is also how you see the different uh, work that can be done. So my advice to people, to the parents is just to let the kids to watch all of the shows, read as many books as possible, uh, newspapers, and also just if they do have uh, good friends that can possibly mentor, bring them around your kids, let them talk to them about their work, and not just uh, what is currently happening, but also an aspect of their work, also just to motivate and inspire the kids to either be successful like them or to take up uh, a career path like the parents as friends. Mm -hmm. So then let's talk the mechanics of the training. Um, when, how, deadline to register, register. You did mention that it's free and you also said that the intake is starting from age 15 up to what age? Give us all the details. Okay, so it's uh, 15 to 30. Like I said, it's from uh, people that have just uh, finished grade 12 up to fresh graduates and also people that have graduated but they haven't been able to secure any jobs however like i said this is the first intake we'll see how it goes in the in the next year do you have a limit to the number of people that you're going to be uh, taking in yes we are looking at 15 to 20. all right it will be online but i think uh, 15 to 20 is a good number to manage however this is a pilot project in this first year is just for uh, to see how it goes if all goes well then uh, perhaps next year we can increase the number and then uh, we we're looking at four sessions throughout the year. So it's also about um, the, the participants coming in with their questions and then see how we can address those questions. And uh, one thing that I've realized is through these questions, when there's a group of people, the other people might also learn through these different questions. So we'll have a total of four sessions and they'll be building on to the others. And they're all based on uh, career growth and career development. And is that it's also your way of tracking progress throughout the year? Yes, tracking progress throughout the year as well and just to see how they are doing. And uh, also we'll use that feedback now in the following year, uh, following year's intake. Okay. And uh, the link is up. I, I believe it's uh, visible on the screen right now or perhaps a QR code. And uh, yeah, whoever is interested they can use the link to sign up so there will be limited spaces 15 to 30 and it's uh, online so all you need is stable internet and then you can connect from anywhere in the country and when is the deadline for the registration the deadline is the 31st of May 2024 awesome yes any final remarks to a young man that's watching this <laughs> evening and is interested you know encouraging him you know why to get involved with this uh, I think uh, other than this is just to take your career very serious I think uh, we are all familiar of the, the economic situation in the country, the unemployment rates. So I think just do your part, stay in school, read your books, and uh, if you are business oriented, that is also fine. However, my advice is just to yeah, put yourself out there, market yourself, make sure that uh, you are known in the work that you're doing so that when people require your services, they don't need to go and struggle on the internet, but they need to know that there's this individual with a certain qualification or skills and then they'll be easily uh, reached out to you. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, mm -hmm. we hope to have you back and to see what progress the young men have made uh, later on in the year. Thank you for having me. Thank Nina. you so much. Mm -hmm. That was HR practitioner Tuda Hydula speaking to us today. He's offering free uh, career guidance and interview coaching to the young boy children. If you're between the ages of 15 and 30, um, you can go ahead and register for it. It's free of charge, and the closing date. For for registration will be on the 31st of May. So good luck uh, with that. On that note, we also come